I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Hey guys, James here from Hackathon and today uh, we are going to continue with the debugging uh, the malware analysis and malware reverse analysis series and this would this particular uh, episode would be a two part series today i'm going to go ahead and show you how to work with staged and staged less payloads so i'm creating a staged payload right now and i'll go and give you a description of how the staged payload works because I'm pretty sure that you guys have gone ahead and used staged payloads, but uh, probably, and do pardon me for saying this, but I think that I have my statistics uh, right. Uh, I think that almost 80% of the viewers are not aware of what happens in the background when a staged payload runs or a stageless payload runs. So this is going to be a two part series, in this series I will go ahead and run staged payload and a stageless payload and go and show you how this thing works and in the next part I will go ahead and do a debugging, a reverse analysis on these payloads and I will go and show you all the functions alright. So in this particular scenario I will go ahead and create the particular payload here. Now what happens in this particular scenario like uh, when it goes ahead and uh, when the payload is executed it would go ahead and establish an active uh, TCP connection back to MSF console like the multi handler then you go ahead and read the 4 by chunks from MSF to the payload like you read back like that's like sending staged something da 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 blah blah what you get. Uh, then it will go ahead and allocate the memory block with the read, write and uh, execute permission on the victim machine. On the victim machine, keep that in mind. Then it will go ahead and uh, read the rest of the payload and then once that is done, it will go ahead and go execute the payload. Now once the execution process starts, it will go ahead and start what we call is the MET server. Or the met SVR that's like the heart of this particular payload right so what happens in that case and this is done here let me just go ahead and run the other one where is it uh, the other one would be yeah this one and as you can see the payload is different windows slash metapreda slash river uh, um, I'm sorry, Windows slash Metapreda underscore reverse underscore HTTPS. Or you can go ahead and use a, let me just go ahead and use HTTP or uh, TCP. Alright. And I'll show you a nifty trick. So, as I was telling you, uh, once, uh, you know, the Met server starts running, it will go ahead and load uh, the DLL files like the kernel DLL file, kernel 32 DLL file using reflected DLL injection, and then you go ahead and uh, you know calculate the offset block, uh, and then it will go ahead and create the socket handles. The socket handles would go ahead and do the in the socket communication from the client to or rather from the victim to the attacker and then the DLL main would be executed and the DLL main would go ahead and encrypt the data using SSL and using uh, TLV that's the staged payload now in case of staged less payload nothing like that happens it goes ahead and directly loads up MS uh, MSF SRV like MSF server 
and that's why the size is a bit larger as you can see that the size is a bit larger than uh, the uh, staged payload this one is like 73802 and this one is 245 uh, 254976 bytes uh, that's because MSF server is pre-baked in this particular situation in this particular scenario so if I go ahead and let's say run my favorite tool uh, that's uh, MSF Ven uh, MSF console here let me just start that off and I would go ahead and show you uh, a nifty trick here I will go ahead and run this particular payload these two payloads rather uh, using the staged payload multi-handler yeah that's correct using the staged payload multi-handler right so let this thing start off yeah it's starting off right that's done now so I'll do a use exploit multi handler set payload window slash matter PRETR slash reverse R E V E R S E underscore T C P I think I got the spelling wrong. Yeah, that gave me a lot of options. R E V E R S E underscore T C P. Right. Set L host. And I'll go and set my L host here. What was my L host? My L host was this. So I'll just go ahead and type in my L host real fast 192.168.225.195. And I'll go ahead and set my L port. And that was 8080 for the staged, uh, staged uh, handler. So, 8080. Now, in case, in order to run a staged less handler, a staged less payload through a staged handler, you'll have to go ahead and use something that's called reverse listener, a uh, reverse bind listener port, right? So, I'll do a set reverse bind, sorry, reverse listener bind port now this would point to my stage less port that's 8000 and I'll set exit on session false and I will go ahead and do an exploit half and J and uh, let me just check jobs here the job is running and as you can see it's a staged metaprayer session the job that is running multi-handler staged metaprayer but i would go ahead and run the staged and the stage less payload through the same command through the same handler so i've got my uh, payloads here in my Windows system staged and stageless let me do something let me just go ahead and delete these and let me just go ahead and uh, copy this once again Right, so I'll just copy this from my debug folder. I'm in my debug folder as you can see. And I'll 
copy this very good now the real magic that will happen here is when I go ahead and run the stage less handler so ideally the stage less handler is not supposed to run on a staged uh, a stageless payload is not supposed to run on stageless handler right but how come this is running here that's because we have got a port redirection it's going ahead and redirecting 8080 to 8000 as you can see here one session has been opened with 8080 even though the payload is running on 8080 but the uh, or rather the handler is running on 8080 but the session is on 8000 so if i do a session real quick i'll get a session here and as you can see this is like the stage less payload here in the stage less payload where i use windows meta uh, windows uh, slash metapreda underscore reverse underscore tcp i use port number 8080 and i've got a session here let me see if I, the job is still running yeah the job is still running now i'll go ahead and show you that this will go ahead and execute a session like the stage session as well so if i go ahead and run the staged one it will go and give me a session right now. Let me do something. Let me just unset this particular port. And let me see the jobs. Yeah, the job is running here. Let me see if the exploit will work. The exploit idly should not work. But then again, let's see. Yeah, the exploit uh, went ahead and ran so i would be able to go ahead and run this now keep in mind that i have one session that's active from the uh, previous stageless one and the staged one would be starting right now and as you can see it's sending stage bytes and a second metapreda session has opened up on 8080 so idly in this scenario I would be getting two sessions there you go I've got two sessions I've got one on 8080 and one on 8000 on the same handler if I do a show option I'll go ahead and see that I'm on Windows Metapreda reverse TCP that's a staged handler but I have executed both a stage and a stage less payload to get two sessions. Session, I've got two sessions. I can interact with session hyphen I one and you go and interact with the session. Help. I get help. Exit. I'll kill that session session this will give me the second session session hyphen session hyphen i two session i inquire yeah session two yeah there we go we have got uh access to session two as well and this is through port number 8080 so i've just shown you how you can go ahead and use a staged payload and a stage less payload through the same multi handler reverse TCP uh, staged handler using both staged and stage less payload. In the next episode, I would go ahead and debug these two applications and I'll go and show you the internals of those particular applications. I hope that this particular tutorial was helpful and if you want to see if this session is actually active or not, if I do a help, I will get pretty much everything. If I do a shell, I will get a shell here. 
and I should be going ahead and getting the shell on that particular system. The stageless, yeah, D stageless. If I do a DIR, that'll go ahead and give me the you know the the contents of this. So that goes ahead and says that this session is active and the previous session was active. Well, I hope that this particular session uh, or other this particular uh, tutorial was helpful. Stay tuned for the next tutorial because that is going to be a very interesting tutorial where I'm going to go ahead and debug all these two uh, uh, payloads and show you the internals of these payloads. Till then, this was James from Hackathon. Do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon. And uh, do have a good day, evening or night, wherever you are. England won the World Cup, so congratulations to all the Brighton Brightons and the English cricket fans. Once again, have a good day, evening or night. Bye-bye now. God bless. Take care.